I'm Sam Coker. I'm owner of South Carolina Pole and Piling. We started this company 30 years ago. Yeah, I think my first uh, Caterpillar loader was a, uh, a 938, and um, that that was probably about 12 years ago, 10 or 12 years ago. And we used it mainly for running the mill and separating poles, uh, not for unloading and loading. It was good. It was good for that. And, uh, we had good experience with it, and good experience with the Caterpillar dealer, Blanchard, here in, in Columbia. We've been using uh, cat loaders now, I think uh, ever since I started it, we've at least 10 years, and uh, we've probably been through probably four different models. They continue to be quality machines, um, you know, very dependable. We feel like we can rely on them. I think over the years, cat, uh, has gotten more, gotten more into the logging and uh, wood industry and uh, have beefed up some of their loaders. Like we have a 966 that does an excellent job for us in loading and unloading uh, poles. It's our largest loader. And then we have a 950 that also loads and unloads and, and does some separating. It has to do both. Just lately, we've been able to run the M-Series uh, and separating poles mainly. And uh, it's a smaller machine that's hydrostatic and uh, very fast. and has very good fuel consumption and does a real good job. My operators love it. When I sit in that cab, I feel like it's kind of like I want my recliner. You know, I want it just like I want it. And it's, it's perfect. Another thing is you got to have a good radio when you're in the loader like that all day long in the air conditioner. And the, and the joystick, I like that more than anything. You know, the attachment, you know, the opening, the closing on the clamp, it's, it's perfect. We want a loader that's efficient. We want one that's powerful enough to do the job. And we want one that is uh, user friendly enough so that our operators can uh, operate them all day. Of course, uh, operating costs is probably the top. It's got to pay for itself. And um, CAT, what CAT's got going for is his name, and the resale value on a CAT is wonderful. And uh, you can operate it for, you know, three, four, or five years, and then you, you've got good value still in it. You can sell it and buy a new one, you know, for, for not a whole lot more money. So um, it's a way to stay ahead of the game. The M-Series loader's been really impressive. Everything that our guys say about it's been positive, uh, been efficient. Um, it's fast and strong. Separating poles, you couldn't ask for no better because you have two of, the, two of the same poles and then your third pole would be something totally different. You can reach in there and grab it and put it wherever it needs to be, throw it and you know, do whatever you need to do and it's fast, extremely. Yeah, the, uh, the Caterpillars uh, are strong um, and uh, the M-Series is strong and fast. Um, we, we like the Caterpillars because they, um, they stand up well, they, they're durable, and uh, when, when you're unloading a, a whole load of poles with two or three bites, you're carrying a big load over rough terrain, and it, with long extended poles out there with a lot of leverage, and it can wear and tear on a loader real quick. And we don't have any trouble with the center pins or the pins on the, on the grapple or anything like that with Caterpillar. They, they, their steel is probably one of the best in, in the world. Service on these machines is it's no problem. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, for one thing, I like the electronics. I like how the batteries are arranged. Batteries run dead, it's easy to jump off. Grease fittings are all reachable. Filters and drain plugs are all readily accessible. Well, Caterpillar, in my opinion, is, is, is heads up from everybody else. They're staying ahead of the curve in, in technical aspects and innovations in uh, their equipment, just like y'all being here and, and, and doing research on these loaders. We, we don't see that anywhere else. Caterpillar's, you know, steel and quality up there is just second to none. And uh, that's why they're being copied by other companies. 